Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Megan and if you're new here, I make videos on e-commerce. Today I'll be walking you through how to use Helium 10's black box tool for finding private label products to sell on Amazon FBA. But what is private label? In case you don't know what private label is, it's basically where we take a product that already exists so we're not inventing anything. We're simply using tools to look into what's selling well on Amazon, analyzing the data, finding a viable product to sell, and then putting our own branding onto it. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I'm currently running a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. The contest runs until May 17th and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, watch this video all the way through, like the video, Video and comment down below one thing that you learned from the video today and there will be one entry per person. Now let's get into it. So what is Helium 10 Black Box? Find and sell your best opportunity from a database of over 450 million products. Use smart filters to uncover winning product ideas based on your exact needs, niche, and preferences. Search by product category, estimated monthly sales revenue, price, weight, review rating, number of images, amount of sellers, and more. So you get to enter in your desired filters and Blackbox will spit out a bunch of product ideas for you. You can get started for free with 20 uses or upgrade to unlimited for $39 per month or $390 per year. All right, let's get started. Select your desired marketplace. Today we'll be using amazon.com. Pick a category or categories you'd be interested in. I like to search for one category at a time so I don't overwhelm myself. I know a thing or two about pet supply, so let's try that category. Monthly revenue. Let's say we want to see which products are doing a minimum of 20,000 per month. Price. This is the price that the product is being sold for. Higher price points are good because they could mean more profit. But also, items priced in the $15 to $20 or $25 range make a great impulse buy. So let's try a minimum of $15. Review count. This is good for if you want to weed out products that are already well established and have tens of thousands of reviews. Let's try a max of $2,000. Review rating. There's a few strategies here. You could type in a minimum of 4.5 and see what products people are loving. Or you could type max 3.5, 3.8, something like that, and see what products are still meeting the revenue criteria despite the reviews being mediocre. This presents a good opportunity for you to come in and improve what people aren't liking about the product. This gives customers a reason to purchase your product over the competitors and take over those sales. But I'm going to leave it blank this time just to see all of the results. Shipping size tier. I like to avoid products that are large and bulky. The bigger the item, the more you're going to spend on shipping and all that. So I'm going to select small standard size. Now click search. Okay, so now we can go through the products and look at the number of sellers, listing price, monthly sales, monthly revenue, BSR, which stands for best sellers rank. And by the way, the lower the products BSR, the better its sales and review count slash star rating. So this is interesting. This product is doing over 1100 sales per month, generating over $25,000 in monthly revenue and only has a star rating of 3.3. We can click on the review count and a graph will pop up. This green line here is the review rating and it's continuously trending downward. So let's open up the product and take a look at it. Okay, so from scrolling through the reviews, it looks like a lot of people are saying that the product doesn't stay on the dog's paws. So maybe you could tweak this product to have a better adhesive or make it more like a sock that goes over the paw instead of sticking onto it. Then you can use this as a selling point in your listing. And you can say something like, unlike competitors, our paw grips stay on for days or however long one would need those to stay on for. So this looks like a good product to add to your product idea list. Next, you can start looking up competitors to see what people love about this product and the key reasons they need it for. Once you put all of this information together, you can create a really great product. So let's go back over to Blackbox. 
There are even more filters that you can use if you need to narrow down your search even further. There's sales over year, price change, sales change, best sales period, sales to reviews, monthly sales, best sellers rank, number of sellers, fulfillment type, number of images, variation count, weight, title keyword search, exclude title keywords, brand search, exclude brands, seller search, exclude seller. So you can get really specific when it comes to your searches. I don't use a ton of these, but I do like to use the weight option because I do like to aim for products that weigh under five pounds. So I should touch on what types of products I like to look for. My perfect product would be small and light. Ideally, it would be under five pounds and fits in the palm of your hand, kind of like the product we found today. Sells for over $15, so there's room in your margins for advertising and profits. Doesn't contain batteries or electronics. Fairly simple design, so there's less room for error on the manufacturer's part. Aren't fragile. Looks affordable to produce. For fun, let's hop over onto Alibaba and see how much it costs to manufacture these paw pads. Okay, so I'm on Alibaba.com. So let's try self-adhesive paw pads. I don't know why some of these images aren't showing up, but here's some here. So they range from $1.35 to $0.48 cents per pair. And a pair would be four. So if you get 100,000 pairs, then you can get them for $0.48 cents per pair. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Okay, so now once you have a list of product ideas, head over to this video here where I walk you through how to validate your product ideas even further, along with a few other product research methods in case you need more product ideas. Now don't forget to enter my Amazon gift card giveaway, so like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below one thing you learned from the video. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. It means so much to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!